quite as bizarre as it sounds because Sidney Dorsey apparently was almost paranoid about being bugged, about someone was listening to the conversation. And so it might, he might, if he was going to order a hit and was afraid that someone was listening to the conversation, write it down and show it and then destroy it. But it does seem a little unlikely that he could chew up and swallow what was a pretty good-sized piece of paper. If, except for this guy is saying, he hands him the note, yeah. and then he has a conversation in detail about the killing. Well, yeah. if you're going to use a note because you don't want to be overheard, then why have a long conversation? And then after this long conversation, he's going to chew up the note. It's, it's rather bizarre. Well, his problem is that in the prior trial, he did testify under oath that Dorsey ate the note. And I think what he's, he's trying to do is backtrack to the extent that he's going to say, well, he chewed on it, and I never saw him spit it out. Right. And you know, so I drew What the prosecutors do is, you know, you have a trial, the guy testifies. You learn pretty quickly that this just didn't work. It wasn't believable. So now you have to try to recreate yeah. something that makes more sense, yeah. but you have a transcript you have to live with. And they're trying to walk that fine line about the chewing the note. Well, you know, uh, you obviously, if a person gives you a note and it says, kill the new sheriff, but he doesn't get it back from you, obviously, the question will be, where is that note? Right. Did you keep that note? So, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, and if you didn't keep the note, uh, that would be pretty questionable. Right, so he has to have it destroyed somehow. Yeah. Now, yeah. Why he didn't say I just gave it to him, I don't know what he did with it, yeah. chewed it, but... Well, there's a, there's a lot of skull